Alrighty guys, welcome back to another episode here on the Never Stop Gaming Survival Server. Today, ladies and gentlemen, I'm sick. I have an infection, and I've got a cold from the infection. <laughs> but, ladies and gentlemen, today we're back, and we're ready to attack with some, some Betty Buy time. But, there's a couple projects that I want to work on in today's episode, if you can see one in the distance. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, go away, Rain. Goodbye. See you later, alligator. I have been working on the base. I, I kind of did this off camera. I started doing a little bit of planning because I didn't know if this was going to be what I wanted. Now, if you guys remember, I don't know if I actually told you guys, uh, there's going to be kind of structure to this base. Uh, I want a bunch of automated farms, and I want all these automated farms sending their items toward a central area, a central storage system. Now, as you guys do know, one of my massive inspirations is Mumbo Jumbo, and on his Hermitcraft season, he has like a weird storage system where it goes in the middle of a section like this. So I took inspiration from him. Now, that's the only real inspiration from him, is there's going to be a sorting system in the middle here, but uh, this, this is going to be a completely different design base, and I'm so excited for it. Look at it! It's going to be so cool! Now, I did build it at a Prismarine, and I know in the last episode we actually took on that fortress. I I, I messed up the editing, so I have to go back in and edit that video and change. Uh, it turns out that I was recording in 60 FPS and rendering in 30. I always thought that there was something weird going on with the videos, and I was recording in 60 FPS and rendering in 30. So, it was causing like a weird frame lapse, I guess, when it tried to downscale the, the frames. So that's why the videos look a little weird. I've dropped my recording down to 30 because I didn't want to, I have one 60 FPS video I'm going to test out, which is that one. And I don't know how long it's going to take me to upload it, so we're going to see what happens there. But we've dropped down to 29.97 frames, which is standard TV frames, so we're good to go. So, uh, I'm going to go over, I think I showed you guys, I'm going to sneeze. Do I have to sneeze? Can I hold it? Can you guys do that? Can you guys control your sneezes? I can't. <laughs> I don't know how I just did that. But I stopped sneezing. That was weird. Oh, my eyes are watering now. Oh, man. <laughs> but in the in the meantime, I don't know if I showed you guys or not, I, uh, I cleared out that fortress. And I, I have started on trying to work on the farm, but I just rage quit on it because it's so freaking annoying uh, having all the water in it. I definitely need to remove all the water. <laughs> Look at all the boats that are here. <laughs> I definitely need to try to remove all this water very soon. But if we go into the fortress, I built this because these guys kept shooting me every time I left. Super annoying. But if we go down here, we have it all cleared out, and I want to leave this area preserved. I want to leave this area kind of looking like the fortress. So if we can get away with making the farm without removing the water, I'd like to do that. I don't think we're going to be able to, but... I'd like to, but this is where the farms are going to be. Now, the normal design is bu bubble column. You want to do a bubble column, and you want to shoot them up, bring them over and down. That's the quickest way to do it. Uh, these guys also have an AI to where they sink when they're not swimming. So if they don't wave their tail, they sink. See that guy right there? So what I'm thinking we can do is turn this area into a spawning pad, and turn this area into a spawning pad, and then turn this whole back wall into a spawning pad so you're inside kind of like a weird looking aquarium and then they spawn they drop down into an underwater system so we can do water systems going into here and then that's when they get pushed into a bubble column up drop down and in to like some type of chamber now i don't think mm, maybe we can do that actually we could do that we could drop them down and we could go through a trap door but the aquarium would all be right here you'd see them falling through i have a really cool plan for this and i'm hoping it works because I, I really want to go aesthetics i don't want to just rip everything out and build a square and have them spawn in and go like i really want this area to be as nice as i can get it so that's that's where i'm aiming but since we have so many blocks from removing this thing I thought we would do two projects today. Uh, we would work a little bit on the base, and as you can see, I have been working a little bit on the base. I should grab a few more stacks of this stuff too. And another project that I want to work on that I started on, I started on both projects to try to make this video a little bit easier on me, so it wasn't like we weren't doing just one thing in the episode, and is the frame okay? Yeah, the frame looks okay. I don't know if I like recording at 29 frames. Huh. We'll see how it looks in the video. You know, we'll test one. One can be bad while we figure out our new settings for our powerful stuff. But <laughs> but uh, if we go over here, I, I do want to show you 
oh, I wish this wasn't so far away. The, the base isn't actually that far away from the Guardian farm, but it's just far enough away to be annoying. Now, I would like maybe that'd be a cool idea, actually. I want to test if minecarts work the way I think they do, because if we can set up a system, a minecart tracking system, oh, that'd be so cool. If we could set up a minecart send and return system to where we send over blocks and then it comes back, I don't know how the minecart system works if you activate no oh, the redstone wouldn't work though would it the redstone would be too far away i think this is too far away but that'd be so cool if we could set up like a rail system to send the items back into the storage system <laughs> just just keep sending blocks back all the time that'd be so cool i might actually do that even if it doesn't work well for just sitting there oh that'd be sweet but as you can see, I've been working on this. We're going to work on the bottom layer. The top layer is going to be mirrored, but it's going to be a little bit different. It's going to be a little bit different of how we do it. But over here is the other project we're going to take on today. And it is a mob farm. Now, this thing, this right here, I stood here in F3, and I figured out where the Mushroom Island actually ends. So this right here is the spawning platform. And you can see there's a spawning platform here. And it is right, right on the border of where the Mushroom Island actually is. You can see the spawning platform literally lines up perfectly with the ocean biome. So this thing, without doing any caving, only has half the generation that we need. And when we're in the base, it doesn't load any of the caves in the uh, in the ocean. So this thing basically gets almost 100% spawn rate just because of the position of it and where our base is. So I'm super happy with that. I want to get something set up today just so we can start collecting mob drops because it's important and as you can see the spawning platform is right below this thing this thing is just gonna be a simple water stream I'm gonna push them into a killing chamber right here and they're just gonna die on magma blocks so that's my plan is just to have everything collected into the middle die and then picked up with minecarts which means we're gonna have to clear out a little bit of underwater but that's fine that's fine everything can be hidden below the, the surface but the building palette for this base definitely is prismarine because that's so cool. I love the look of prismarine. So I've never really done a base at a prismarine before. So that's going to be super fun. And prismarine is so much fun to say. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to crack on. We're already at seven minutes of this episode. So I'm going to crack on and I'm going to do a lot of work on the base and show you guys kind of how I want it to be. Uh, the bottom layer, at least. We aren't going to work on the top layer quite yet because the top layer is going to be a little more inter inter. I can't say that word. It's going to be a little more advanced. <laughs> intricate like, how do you say that oh my god okay so let me let me place some blocks well we got death number one I might as well recap you while I go get my stuff of what I've done literally not that much all I've done so far and I I haven't even looked at it to be honest with you I haven't even seen this yet oh that looks good oh I died on a mushroom I just got to find where I was placing blocks over here okay so it would be like this mushroom that mushroom right there ha there it is Oh, that looks good. Now what I'm doing is right here, I'm just going to add a ring around it just so it adds a little more detail and then fill in this area. And then that's where we're going to call it on the base design. We're going to start working. Look, look at this. This thing's lit up. That is like a very minimal spawn space and they've actually spawned. <laughs> so I'm really excited to work on that today and maybe get a sufficient source of mob drops. Now it being down low. We can build a lot of layers, and they're all going to be within loading distance. Holy crap. Hmm. Okay, so. There we go. Finish the curves with the cobblestone. I did do that. I forgot about that. And then... Oh, that's going to look really good, I think. Oh, I think I'm really going to like that. That's a good contrast. Okay, so. Let me, let me work. Let me work away. Look at... That's going to be fun. <laughs> okay, so project one is complete. I don't know. Is my frame rate okay? Let me know in the comments if my frame rate is okay or if it's kind of off. I can start uploading 60, but that would kind of suck. But <laughs> here we go. So right there, bam. Base is, well, not complete, but the bottom layer of what it's going to look like is somewhat complete. The top layer is going to be a mimic with some extra features because it is going to be the storage room of the base, so it needs to have these areas filled in. So it's going to be something a little bit different. Now, it's time for this. It's time for this over here. Now, I don't know how many layers I want to start. Obviously, creating the layers isn't that hard. They're real easy, actually. I'm going to be able to probably build this thing in 20 minutes 
Jesus. Now, I need to actually run. Oh, I need ladders. Oh, I need wood. I am... I am real low on wood. Living in a place that doesn't have trees? Yeah, it's hard. It's kind of kind of difficult. But I need... I, why do I keep doing that? It's because I'm trying to breathe. <laughs> but I need ladders and I need to get that stuff set up. And then I want to kind of see... At nighttime, that thing will spawn. And daytime, it will not right now because we need to figure out a way to darken it. The only way to do that is to build a big platform above it. Which is kind of irritating. Because I want to be able to see into it. So the big platform might need to be created. Now I might do a circle. Yeah, I probably... Yeah, okay. We're okay. Uh, we can go overkill. But do we have any extra... 20. They're in our inventory. I came all the way back here because the ladder were in my inventory. So I got to run here in another 10 minutes. So I'm going to do 10 minutes of building. And then I'm going to run. And then I'm going to come back and do more building. So that's what I'm doing off camera. That looks so good though. Actually filling that in gives me so much hope for this base. Oh, it's gonna be so cool. Oh It's so wicked. I can't I cannot complain about that. Wow The prismarine is a really obscure color that doesn't really go with much But they do go well together, which I'm not upset about at all <laughs> All right, so what I'm gonna do is just build my way up and we'll keep going up like this because it needs to be placed on the top of the third block right here. Because it's two blocks, that's where it needs to be placed, and this is where it needs to be filled in. So, I'm just going to build away for ten minutes, and then i got to run. And then I'll come back to you guys once, well, once this is completed, I guess. Once I have these floors done. Uh, the redstone behind it will be... Oh, easy. We'll just use a hopper clock. Yeah, we'll just use Ethos hopper clock. Easy as pie. And then... Hopper chain down? Or, not hopper chain observer train yeah observer train down seems to work fine doesn't it uh oh oh no observer train up or down it doesn't matter which one i use the middle of this thing yeah no we're good we're good okay let's do this okay thanks me i don't know when i'm actually adding this into a video so i probably will segue myself over to doing this but here we go you ready you ready we're gonna do our first flight with an elytra Bam, Elytra, region sky limits, sky's the limit. Okay, so we got this, we got this. Come on. That made over a stack. Boom. Ladies and gentlemen, we have flight on NSG. Oh, this is fantastic. I've missed this so much. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, we did it. Oh, yeah, we did it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, I couldn't be happier. <laughs> okay, well, back to the video. Alrighty guys, I'm actually coming back and recording this clip after I've done a lot more work on the base, but I did actually finish the farm, so I wanted to finish finish this video for you guys, and I gotta be careful where I look, because I'm working on other projects for other videos right now, and it's just, it's just a mayhem. But as you can see, I added the circle to the top. Now I may take down this platform right here, this a pillar, uh, and go from there. I think I have a clip in the next video that I'll show you guys, so it's all good. But there's the finished product, the finished product here on NSG. This farm, let me tell you, actually runs insane. Uh, I set up some double chests down there. I set up five double chests. They're all full in the time that it's taken me to record the rest of this video. So this farm is definitely, definitely waiting for the rest of the base to be finished. But anyway, guys, I'm not even going to switch because I don't want to reveal anything that I'm recording in an upcoming episode. So I'm going to stay in front camera. <laughs> If you guys are new to the channel, be sure to consider hitting the subscribe button. If you guys are new to my uh, videos, yeah, I already said that. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to hit the subscribe button. And I, f I feel like the gain just went way up in my microphone. Oh, it's my furnace. My furnace kicked in. Anyway, guys, hit the like button and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.